visit otn.oracle.com go to the software download section scroll down and in the categories click on IT infrastructure and over here you have the option for Oracle Linux with UEK the unbreakable kernel log in with a Oracle account if you don't have one you may create one and once you log in search for Oracle Linux we are going to use Oracle Linux version 6 update 10 you could use 7 if you want I'm just using one that is stable so you can choose which version you want preferably 6 and once you have clicked on the link click on the cart and choose 64 bit it enables the continue button you need to agree to the terms click the checkbox and continue it gives you a host of options that are available click on the checkbox at the top and we will only need the 3.8 GB ISO file click on the link to that this will pop up the window to save so save it in a location give it a name so that you know which version of Linux is this ISO file for it might take a while to download once it is done you can then go to VirtualBox, click New, give it a name. I'm giving Aura18C underscore OEL6 because that's what I'm going to have. Ensure that the operating system was Oracle Linux. Give a memory of 8 GB. Choose the default options here and let it be a dynamically allocated one and give it 100 GB of space. Click on Create. This will result in the virtual disk getting created. To make it easier, go to the general tab and enable bi-directional clipboard so that you can copy paste. And then in the processor, I have chosen one that should be enough. Then in the network, ensure the enabled adapter is bridged and the other adapters right now, let them be disabled. We will enable what we want later. And in the storage tab, click on the CD icon and map the ISO file this enables you to use that as a boot drive and click on start this gives us the pop-up for the Linux installation it might take a while for you to get to the screen wait till there and accept the default let it boot with the initial bootloader and it will come to the page which we want to start the installation in this window click the tab so that you don't need to evaluate and test the media so click on the tab button it will take you to skip click enter and then it would get started with and comes to the screen you have one problem here if you click your mouse inside you may not get it out so you might want to click on the right control button whenever you want the mouse out to navigate the screen so once you have got that skill the right control button will get your mouse out of sight the VM box and then click next in the next screen choose the English language and the locale check whether it is a basic storage and click next click yes discard any data and give a host name I'm giving a representative host name as Aura 18C because that's what we're going to run and click next choose your time zone I'm choosing India as I come from here to come out and scroll down set a root password and in this option scroll up and choose the option to use all space which gets us to use all the space we have given and in case your control doesn't work just go out and come back sometimes that's a problem that will all get solved once we have 
the VirtualBox guest additions installed. You will have to hold on till then. And write changes to the disk. It will take a while to get it done. You have to choose what kind of a server you want. So you can by default click basic server. And then at the bottom clues customize now. That will enable you to choose the options you want to use. And click on next. Which will take us to what we want to choose. So click the control button go up. And again inside in the base system ensure you have the compatibility libraries enabled down below there's also the ability to have networking tools which you might find helpful under desktops if you want a KDE or genome desktop you can choose I'm choosing genome I'm more comfortable with that so choose the options that you want best practice would be to choose whatever I'm doing so that what I'm going to show and what you're going to see will be similar. And with that, we come to having chosen the important aspects. Now, this is about the editor, Firefox browser. And in the development piece, choose development tools. Now, again, right control button, scroll down and click inside to click next. Once you click next, it's going to take care of doing whatever it has to do to get the installation done. It can take a while depending on the kind of resources you have on your computer. Maybe you can go for a coffee break and come back. Here, I have done a time slice so that it goes through fast, but it actually took much longer than what you can see in this video. Once the installation is complete, you would have to go and do the reboot as I told you. Clicking on reboot will reboot your VM. This is again a fast forwarded uh, video. It might take much longer. And once it comes, it asks for a final set of things to do. Agree for the license. Don't enable the sign in here. We will do it later. Create a user. In our case, I'm going to create a user called Oracle with a password Oracle. It's okay if it's a weak password. Uh, we don't want KDEM to be enabled, so we will disable that. That's a feature of Oracle Linux. And once we are done, click on finish. This requires another reboot, so we will say okay for the reboot to happen. And again, a fast forwarded reboot in the video, you log in, have a terminal open, we want the root privileges, so su minus and then the password that you gave for root, we will disable firewall, we don't need that for our practice and make it a permanent setting with respect to the firewalls by means of setting off IP tables. And now that we have the root session available, configure the SE Linux permissions to be instead of enforcing, we will convert it to permissive. We'll save that. Another command to make that permanent, which is done here. And we have the same problem again with the control right click come out and now we will install the guest additions which will solve our mouse integration problem so we clicked on devices and enable that and now this would be available under media directory just follow the instructions as given in the screen go to the folder or directory and you'll have to run the vbox linux additions dot run this would probably take a minute or so and I have cut down the video on the actual time it took. And once the guest additions are installed, a reboot is necessary. Again, a fast forwarded reboot brings us. Now we see that the screen has expanded. 
which means it is able to take the full settings of your graphics. The ability to move seamlessly is there. Right click the CD, we don't need it anymore. So we will just eject it. Next, we will configure the network interface. We have the default one, which is using DHCP. We will enable it to connect automatically so that when you reboot, you will have access to the internet. Give your root password again so that that is activated and you can see that the network icon will come on. Now back in a terminal, check the IP address. You should see an IP address getting assigned and open Firefox browser to validate if you are able to access the internet and go to otn.oracle.com to download the Oracle software here. If you had done it in your Windows laptop directly, you can copy it using WinACP. But here we are downloading the software from within the Linux VM so that the software is available locally. You don't need to do the transfer. So either way you can do the download. If you've already done it, no problems. You don't need to waste your internet to download it again. We are here accepting the license agreement and clicking on the zip option, which means you will have to extract it and use it. There is something interesting about it. And once the software is downloaded, we are going to shut down. And with the shutdown VM, we will do an export so that whatever we have configured so far is available as a ready-made template. Choose a directory where you want the export to be kept. The name can be retained as it is. And this will take a while to get your export done. And once the export is done, you are done with the installation. Thank you.